Hey, what's up, YouTube? Back with your boy, Luke. Check this out. I'm in my Adelita Bar shirt, and tonight I'm going to address the subject of the three girls that were found dead in Tijuana, Mexico. There's been a lot of rumors going around. My email's been blowing up. My instant messenger's been blowing up. People want to know, what about these girls that got killed in Zona Norte? There's a lot of false rumors going around, so I'm going to clear that up for you guys right now and let you know the facts as I know them to be. Also, people are saying, do they cancel their trip to Tijuana? What should they do? Should they be afraid? Guys, absolutely not, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this stuff up, and then I'm going to give you an update of Zona Norte in this video, okay? All right, first and foremost, guys, the first girl did die in a club in Zona Norte. It doesn't matter what her name is. It doesn't matter what club it is. She died of an overdose, okay? Happens to Hollywood actors happens to professional athletes, happens to regular people, and it just so happened to her. It's unfortunate, okay? Um, I had two friends die of overdoses last year. This fentanyl stuff is out of control, and it's unfortunate for her, it's unfortunate for her family, and you know, it was just her time. Bad luck for her, she died, and that could happen anywhere. So there's no reason for you to cancel your trip or be afraid because that happened to her in Tijuana, Mexico. It happens all over the world, not just in Tijuana. Okay, let's skip right along to the second girl. The second girl, it was rumored that she worked at the Adelita Bar, which was false. She did not, okay? She was at the Marabu Bar, which is kind of like a disco, Coco Bongo type, down the road. She was a waitress, okay? There was a big article about her in the Tijuana paper all they can tell you is she left the bar completely safe. She got into an Uber. She was never to be seen or heard from again until she was found dead two days later, okay? Case is still under investigation. They don't know if it was the Uber driver. They don't know if she was dropped off and somebody got her from there, if she changed her mind, if it was an ex-boyfriend. They really don't know. And if they do know, they're not letting out those details, okay? And, you know, it sounds bad. We've seen this before, though. Again, it never fails. It always seems like a girl goes missing in a car, some crazy Ted Bundy shit, and then they found her decomposed body two, three, four days later. That's what happened to this girl. However, when she left the bar, okay, she was completely okay, and she got into an Uber, and she never made it home, all right? So, the third incident happened at a bar, and basically what you have here with the third incident, I'm not gonna say the name of the bar, I'm not gonna say the name of the girl, but it's basically another Logan Kelly incident. If you guys know who Logan Kelly was, Logan Kelly's the kid who sliced a girl's throat down in Zona Norte because he got pissed off or upset at her about five or six months ago, okay? He used to play basketball for Rutgers, all right? Same thing happened here. We had a young lady, she lost her life um, due to a customer that apparently things got out of control in the room. I don't really know what happened. All I know is she's dead and he's arrested, okay? That's what we know. So two of these three things could have happened anywhere. The third thing that happened, once again, was a customer that caused a problem, okay? It was not any of the staff, it was not the girls, it was not some inside job that was done in Tijuana at all, okay? It was a customer bringing trouble to the Zona, all right? All right, guys, back to the Zona Norte updates. What's up, YouTube? Back with your boy, Luke. Hey, guys, check this out. The Zona Norte updates, I want to let you know right now, Zona Norte is coming back. A lot of the girls went home for the holidays, but they're starting to show back up. Lots of beautiful girls in Hong Kong. Hong Kong is absolutely, if you've never been, folks, it is the best place to go in Zona Norte. It is the safest, the biggest, and the best. The quality of girls are the best, and the quantity of girls are the best. Also, it's probably the most expensive place, too. But let's get real, guys. You can't drive a Lamborghini if you have an escort budget, okay? If you want the Lamborghini, if you want the hot girls, go to the Hong Kong Club. The service is great. The hotel is great. The security is great. You're going to have a great time. A lot of girls are back at the Adelita Bar, and a lot of girls are back at the Chicago Club. Starting to see a lot of girls from Central America show up at the Adelita Bar now and at the Chicago Club. You got girls from Venezuela, girls from Colombia, 
really pretty girls as well as several Mexican girls, okay, that hang out at those bars. And if you've never been before, guys, the Adelita Bar, the Chicago Club, and the Hong Kong Club are all within walking distance, really great for each other. All right, I just looked at the camera, guys. You're going to have to excuse me. I know I look like shit, but I just got done with an 18-hour shift on a drilling rig in North Dakota, and I came home, I threw on my Adelita shirt, and I wanted to clear the air about these girls that were found dead and all these rumors that are going around for my subscribers. So I just threw this shirt on, and I'm trying to give you guys a quick update. I know I don't look the best, but I want you guys just to know that it is safe. You can go down there. You can have fun. You do not need a vaccine to cross the border. The border is open, all that good stuff. Guys, check this out. Any questions you might have, down below in the link below is going to be my email address. Feel free to email me. Feel free to hit me up on Facebook. Ask me any questions about Tijuana, Zona Norte. Watch my other videos. You know, do whatever it is that you have to do. I'm here to help you. I'm just passing good information, guys. I don't have an interest in anything, not making any money off of anything. I'm just here to help people go to Tijuana, Mexico, and enjoy it and have a good time because Tijuana is supposed to be fun, okay? Now, a lot of people because of this were thinking about canceling their trips or getting nervous. Nothing to worry about, guys. Everything is on and cracking, and it's great. Guys, check this out. Also, I want to give you guys a few updates on my channel really quick. Um, the prostitute that I interviewed from Venezuela will be coming back for a second interview. And you guys are going to love it. That show did over 100,000 views. And I think you guys are going to be really surprised at the second interview and the things we talk about. And not only that, where we talk about these things, okay? I met her in Bogota, Colombia a couple of months ago. And we're going to take this show down the road to a new destination. And we're coming close to you very soon. Also, we're going to have another interview of a girl that works at the Big Four, okay? Now, guys, when I talk to the Big Four, I'm talking about the Adelita Bar, the Chicago, the Hong Kong, and the Tropical. we got a girl that um, you've seen her before, but you're going to see her again, and she's going to be a lot more tuned in and not as much, you know, inebriated, so to speak. So we're going to be doing that. I'm also going to be going down to Boys Town in Nuevo Laredo, Mexico. And that's going to be next week, and I'm going to try to shoot some more footage of Boys Town. I did that about a year, a year and a half ago. I really didn't like the way it turned out, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to try it again. Of course, after Boys Town, I'm going to go down to Monterey, Mexico. I'm going to party my ass off down in Monterey, Mexico. I'm going to stay down there at the Fastos Hotel like I always do. We're going to go to the Toxica, the Rexia, the Harim. We're going to hit all the badass joints in Monterey, Mexico, okay? I'm going to give you guys some information on the street girls in Monterey, Mexico, too, okay? So we're going to do it all, and smash that like and subscribe button. If you're watching this video, know I'm going live Saturday night. I'm going to be going live here in about two hours. All right, guys, hit that like and subscribe button. Any questions you have about Tijuana, you need to talk to me. I'll let you know what's up. See you down the road.